So without further ado, it's my pleasure to present to you Mr. Charlie Weiler. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you all for coming out tonight. Uh, so, like you said, my name's Charlie Weiler. I live here in Rockdale. <clears throat> and uh, I was raised up on Village Creek over in the big thicket around north of Beaumont there. And I spent the night out there one night by myself, which wasn't really anything unusual for me. But, in other words, I'd done it before, but something happened out there on that creek that night because I got up the next morning and I wrote this song down in about 10 minutes. And it's called The Creek Bank Critter Jam. Sitting by the campfire all alone and missing you Pouring out my feelings in some low down lonesome blue From the darkness of the big thicket crept a big old timber wall He said I've heard you picking and it sure is sounding good I've been running through this bottom land traveling all alone Hoping you could use a hand, he said, I can play the phones that we play. Well, we worked into a rhythm, it was Start to sound just right When a ten-foot timber rattler Crawled out in the campfire light I reached to grab my shovel For to cut him down to size The wolf stepped in and said Now friend, we all must compromise He said the rattler wears his instrument Right on his very tail He joined in with our compliments And it really sounded swell as we played Well, the hoot owl missed nothing in the big thicket late at night And he swooped down on a cypress knee right there within our sight He said, I've heard you pick many times here by yourself If you have no objection, sir, I would like to help Well, he pulled out my harmonica, I dropped along the trail He put it to his mouth and people he began to play and we played Well, before you do it, other critters joined in with our tune should have seen the big black bear dancing neath the moon The dealer made a washboard sound by scratching on his shell The beaver finally came around, tapping rhythm with his tail I heard an old piney woods rooter popping his chops and sounding good Thought I'll never forget that creek bank critter jam down in the woods and we played In old piney woods, rooter, popping his chops and sounding good. Lord, I'll never forget that creek bank critter jam down in the woods that we played.
<laughs> the Creek Bank Credit Jam, y'all. You can't just hear that anywhere. Thank you. Um, this uh, next song is uh, a song that I wrote. It's one of the biggest plagues in America and the world is these days is the uh, the plague of divorce it takes away from the family. This is a song about the children of divorce. Called a friend just the other day, haven't seen him in a month or so. I heard the voice of his little girl say My daddy doesn't live here anymore Well an emptiness came over me And it chilled me to the bone She began to cry when she gave me The number to his phone Lord, I'm sending up this prayer For the children of divorce Broken hearts were never meant For little girls and boys I could feel that baby's heart break when she hung up the line. She shouldn't have to answer for her parents' stubborn pride. Lord knows that I'm not perfect, but it makes me want to cry. How can you turn away? When you look into those eyes Lord, I'm sending up this prayer For the children of divorce Broken hearts were never meant For little girls and boys now a man can pull his collar up and face the darkest night And the woman who must have her way Oh, she'll get along all right In this world of indecision We all tend to fuss and fight People look into your children's pain Boy, you break those family ties Lord, I'm sending up this prayer For the children of divorce Broken hearts were never meant For little girls and boys Lord, I'm sending up this prayer For the children of divorce Broken hearts were never meant For little girls and boys For little girls and boys for little girls and boys For God's little girls and boys Thank y'all. Get your Kleenex out on that one. <laughs> we'll pick up the tempo here a little bit. Yeah. I guess what I wanted to kind of touch on is uh, humility. That's what we, uh, we all 
go through. And what it means is humble yourself. Take yourself down off that pedestal. It ain't about you. Who's it about? It's about Jesus. And the truth is we have an adversary. He wants to attack all of our desires, your thoughts, how you treat yourself, how you treat other people, how you treat your own body. So you need to be on guard against Satan's schemes, right? <clears throat> First Peter 5, 8, your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. That's the truth. We've got to be on our guard. But God's Word also gives us a strategy against those attacks by telling us to put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes because he's always scheming to get in your mind, in your heart. The interesting thing is that every piece of armor refers to the character of Christ. In other words, put on the likeness of Christ. Abide in Christ, and you'll fend off the attacks of the enemy. <clears throat> now, my life has been filled with a lot of ups and downs. I'm a child of the 60s, came of age in the 70s. I've seen a lot of good things go down, a lot of bad things. I've kind of seen, I guess, maybe everything. I don't know. We've been, we've been through some turbulent years the last 50 years, right? 60 years. I seem to have had a lot more stress in my life when I was younger. But as I grew older, I realized that when you lean on Jesus, all that anger and humiliation can be removed from your life. When I really started nurturing my relationship with Jesus, my life changed for the better. Each morning I start my day by praising Jesus and thanking Him for all the blessings He's bestowed on me and my loved ones. I thank him for the gift of love, which to me is the greatest gift of all. I ask him to let me walk with him, and I thank him for the blessings in store for that day. I ask that he will bless all those that are in need, the sick, the hungry, the poor, the homeless, the addicted, the lonely, as well as all my children and grandchildren, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, and all others, and that their needs may be fulfilled. Each prayer I pray in the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Because when I pray in the name, in His name, I know Satan has absolutely no power over me. By doing this each day, I've grown closer to the Lord. It's increased my faith and just a, your relationship with Jesus every day. Start out your day. I'm not trying to tell y'all what to do. I'm just going to tell you what's helped me. Guess what I'm trying to say is start your day with thanks and praise in the name of Jesus. The devil has no hold on you. Although the evil one is always trying to enter your life and get in your mind and cause you to make bad decisions or wrong decisions, but the Holy Spirit is always at your side to lead you in the right direction. Amen. You know, God gave us the ability to decide for ourselves. And I believe each one of us has the God-given instinct to know the difference between right and wrong. <clears throat> I hope you'll consider starting your day as I do. Soon you'll see that it, what can happen to your attitude, the way you think. You know, God created the whole universe. I don't think you'll have any trouble helping us through each day. Book of James Chapter 4, verse 7. Humble yourself to God and resist Satan, and he will flee from you. And he will. You just start your day with Jesus. And you'll see the difference. It won't take long. Lay your troubles at the foot of the cross. Talk to Jesus like a friend. Hand your troubles over to the Lord and stop worrying. Once you give your burden to God, forget about it. 
and thank him for removing it from your life. I have that bad habit. I'll turn it over to the Lord, and next thing you know, I'm worrying about it again. It's humility. <laughs> Humble yourself to the Lord and let him do his work in you. Because I believe the personal relationship with Jesus is the most important part of our life. So nurture that friendship, that relationship with the Lord. He knows your needs. Praise him and bless his holy name. God bless y'all in, in the name of Jesus Christ who died on the cross for our sins that we may be forgiven. Amen. Amen, Lord. That brings the thought of, to mind a little song. It's, it's an old standard gospel song well I once was lost in sin but Jesus took me in then a little light from heaven filled my soul he bathed my heart in love and wrote my name above just a little talk with Jesus made me whole now let us have a little talk with Jesus Let us tell him all about our trouble He'll hear our faintest cry And he'll answer by and by When you feel a little prayer will turn And then you know a little fire's a burning Find a little talk with Jesus Makes it right, all right now have doubts and fears, my eyes be filled with tears. Jesus is a friend that's watching day and night. I go to him in prayer, he knows my every care. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus, tell him all about our trouble. He'll hear the faintest cry and he'll answer by and by. When you feel a little prayer will turn and then you know a little fire's a burning. Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right. To find a little talk with Jesus makes it right. All right now, thank y'all. Um, but anyway, uh, this is really a nice bistro here. It's the Thomas and, and Carrie uh, have really got a good thing going here. The decor is wonderful. Um, I always like a kind of a rustic mood, you know. And I don't know how many flavors of shave ice they have over there, a bunch. I just ate some of the brisket and sausage plate and it was some of the best, most tender brisket that I've had in a long time. Very good. Thank you all very much. Why me, Lord? What have I ever done to deserve even one of the pleasures I've known? And tell me, Lord, what did I ever do that was worth loving you for the kindness you show? And Lord, help me, Jesus, I've wasted it so. Help me, Jesus, I know what I And now that I know that I've needed you so, help me, Jesus, my soul's in your hand. Try me, Lord, 
If you think there's a way I can try to repay All I've taken from you And maybe, Lord I can show someone else What I've been through myself On my way back to you And Lord help me Jesus I've wasted it So help me Jesus I know what I am And now that I know that I've needed you, so help me, Jesus, my soul's in your hand. And Lord, help me, Jesus, I've wasted it, so help me, Jesus, Lord, I know what I am. And now that I know that I've needed you, so help me, Jesus, my soul's in your hand. Jesus, my soul's in your hand. Thank y'all very much. Thank y'all very much. That was a song written by Chris Christopherson about his humility that he went through to humble himself to the Lord after a lot of years of not doing that. So one of the highlights, I guess, of last year's catastrophes was Hurricane Harvey, right? And boy, it just wreaked some havoc in Texas and other places too. But this is a song that I wrote called the uh, uh, Lone Star Shine. And it's about the angels that come together to help their fellow man here in the state of Texas. And gosh, it ain't over yet. There's people in there just still haven't got back in their homes. Their homes are gone. But they're still living in trailers and, and tents and everything down in there. But we're uh this is a song i wrote called lone star shine hope you enjoy. hope you enjoy it this old house was built out of pure necessity my granddaddy's daddy moved south from tennessee he said he had all that he needed till he gained a family and from a little two-room shanty built the best house on this street then a devil they named Harvey swept through just like a broom. He had no mercy on this house, spared not one single room. I don't know what can be salvaged, Lord, not much can be saved. Except Granny's family Bible, thank God for his saving grace. Now I don't know what the cost is. Lord, I don't know how we'll find the time But I know come hell or high water That lone star is always gonna shine, shine, shine That lone star is always gonna shine Now the howling wind is gone, the sky is blue and clear The whole landscape has changed, it's a different atmosphere But I thank God for all the angels sent to help their fellow man With so new seeds and lend a helping hand Now I don't know what the cost is Lord, I don't know how we'll find the time 
But I know come hell or high water That lone star is always gonna shine, shine, shine That lone star is always gonna shine, shine, shine That lone star is always gonna shine Thank y'all. Thank y'all very much. But y'all, thank y'all for having me out tonight. And uh, I hope y'all had a good time. And, and, uh, thank you, Charlie Wilder, for coming out. And join us next week for Whitney Casey. Oh, yeah! <laughs> God bless you all. Thank y'all. God bless all y'all.